Hey everybody, and uh, welcome back to Ticket Stubs and Popcorn. This is, uh, I'm Frank. And I'm Peter. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Queen Amidala herself. You Amidala, said. Amidala, whatever. Queen Amidala, Abu. Dabba. Yabba Dabba Doo. Yeah, yeah Queen so. Yabba Dabba Doo. All right. Uh, so anyway. I've got a question. You've got a question for we'll, you. Yeah. We'll, we'll hash out uh, Natalie Portman and then we can come back to this one. Um, if it were possible, well, yeah. what movie would you have liked to have been there while it was being filmed? Like Caligula. As, as if you were backstage. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Come on, man. That was funny. That was funny. Calig uh, Caligula is rarely the best punchline for a lot of jokes. So I have to take it when I can, which I believe was the Unless subtitle were of Caligula. <laughs> there you go. So <laughs> yeah. The only time it ever comes up as a punchline is when you're telling a joke to Nero. You go, yeah. hey, you go. We're going to give you a Caligula. Right, exactly. Look at that. Folks, ancient Rome jokes. Rome, right? Rome? Yeah. Right? Rome. You said it. Rome. Because sometimes the Romans and the Greeks, it's all a big, huge um, ancient mess. Caligula so, anyway, fest. <laughs> so I, <laughs> oh, it's a Caligula <laughs> storm. What? <laughs> yeah, we almost Caligula'd that, Caligula that up. <laughs> What's the past tense of Caligula? All right. So, um, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. <laughs> Natalie Portman. Um, why, don't, why don't you talk about okay. old Natalie Portman? Natalie Portman um, had a had a her start came yeah. fairly young. All of our starts young. came pretty young. I started as a baby. Really? Yeah. Yeah. From a, a lab test tube. At least that's what my parents said. Yeah. Experiment gone awry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Natalie Portman. Little child. <laughs> I I first. I first noticed, this isn't one of my picks, but I first noticed Natalie Portman in a Woody Allen movie called Everyone Says I Love You. And really? she's, she's one of the two younger daughters. Yeah, and uh, she's very she's very good in the movie. But uh, anyway, that was the first time I noticed All right. her. So and what's one of your picks? So one of the picks will be um, that queen to whom you referred to earlier. Really? We're going to go with uh, Padme. Okay. Uh, from the... Patamame or whatever. That's right. Is. Out of uh, Star Wars 1, 2, and 3, I guess yeah. we're going to have to say. Um, and it's definitely funny because in number one, she is the queen. And then uh, not so much in the second and the third yeah, one. <laughs> she's just a senator. Though. Yeah. And it's funny how there's like a certain way she acts and carries herself when there's work to be done and responsibility and this title is involved and then sometimes she's just just a young kid she's and just and yeah she don't get it she's she's a just a a, a young a young uh what well not not even a young woman yet no, really she is i mean i think she's like, like what is the girl the age still. difference is like eight or eight, eight, eight or nine years, years old like between that. her yeah. and yeah so, and so, um, but then, you know, that, blo as we know the story, that blossoms, and then she just becomes this, this doomed figure. I mean, she's going to yeah. be turned upon. Spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. Yeah, she'll be turned upon and, uh, and ultimately doomed. And, uh, and it's kind of nice to see a little, but it, it's not nice to see. It's nice to see the arc, though, so she's not just one okay. dimensional. And, and that's, I kind of liked it. it. And she was at the beginning. Still, still young, um, so that was that was nice to see. Not okay. nice to see what happens, to right? Her, yeah, but of course. So be it. So uh, I, uh, her performance is is Padme throughout uh, three, number one, two, and three. So, so I like those. Or I like her performance. Um, I'm gonna say probably, probably. My favorite performance of hers is Black Swan. Okay. Which is I I think although she 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 won the Academy Award for Best Actress, when you see the movie, you realize 
it's not just acting going on there. There's a lot of physical demands yeah. on her, and she had to make this look believable. So, if I remember correctly, you know, there was always talk. Oh, yeah, she's been she's been doing this ballet in a ballet company. Oh, she's been trying to work out with them yeah. for like ten months, twelve months, and you're like, that's oh. yeah. And so there's a lot, and then of course her character is, you know, what do you want to say? She's 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 trying to just please everybody at the beginning of the movie, just trying to like please her mom. So she this is what she does, and she's kind of secluded from a lot of other stuff because it's just been ballet, and then she's trying to like please the director, yeah, and, and then it's, that she's... becomes a romantic. Abusive, kind of abusive thing and then that goes just the toying of the affection that's going back and forth and yeah, then the competition so between her and uh, yeah. Mila Kunis and even the Winona Ryder character and um, it, it's yeah it's, 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 quite, a, it's lot. a lot of work it's like a descent into man she you know yeah. there's this good and bad you know obviously it's represented by the, the white swan and the black swan and just going back and forth yeah. And um, wonderful, yeah, film. yeah, quite really, good. yeah. And, good. and that That's one, that one is, uh, and it's, and it's a, it's this physical thing. It's yeah, a, it's because she's abused. I mean, she's getting abused in different subtle ways, maybe, but she's also abusing her body, and, right. as, they, as they all are. But we see more focus on her because she's a lead, lead dancer. But um, incredible. Yeah, all right. I remember cool. seeing that one, thinking, holy smoke. Yeah, just at that point, to me, all of a sudden she just went way up in my estimation. Like, whoa, she's like really, yeah, turned it up a few notches. Um, in her, just it, it, you know, just showing herself at, at that point is a, just an actor that you pay attention to. So, um, so that would that's that's my favorite performance. I mentioned it second. And um, there's a, a, my third performance, it's a very short film. Sometimes it's included in the bigger picture, the bigger film, and sometimes it, it, you can see it stand alone. But there's a Wes Anderson movie called uh, Hotel Chevalier, and it's the opening scene. It's, it's used as the opening scene for the... The Darjeeling Limited. Okay. And there is this incredible uh, 15 minute long movie. And it's this wonderful scene with her and Jason Schwartzman. And it's a. Uh, really? I've never, I don't think I've seen that. It's. There is so much not said. Because you have. The, the, the whole movie is just pregnant with this. Like, what the hell? has gone on before yeah. they got to this scene. We don't know. There's so many possibilities and stuff. And um, you can tell she's a little a little pushy. She's kind of used to having her way. She may have even been wrapping him around her finger. Yeah. So he's gotten to the point where it seems like he's tried to get away from her. So he's actually sequestered himself in a hotel in Paris. <laughs> and she <laughs> finds him. And she calls him up and you can just see his face. <laughs> and it's like, how'd you find uh, her? Oh, it wasn't that difficult. Yeah. Oh, damn. And then, like, she even, she even, like, gets an invitation. Well, aren't you going to invite me, you know, over? Okay. You know, it's yeah. like he's trying to do anything he can, it seems, to get away from her. And that's what makes this so, like, what's going on? What happened? And then um, her, her body is he, as, as they're, gonna make love they're like taking off clothes and you see she's got these bruises all over and he's like where are all these bruises from eh. it's like <laughs> she's not answering don't worry about it <laughs> yeah it is just that like, little guy yeah, don't worry about it's, that it's, so it's it's uh, it's strange and the the interesting thing in terms of like real life chronology her hair is still growing out because she just finished v is for vendetta uh or v for vendetta yeah. and uh so you know, like her hair is still growing out of that one. So that's kind of that's kind of interesting to see that, and you kind of know where yeah. it comes from. So uh, 
Those those are my those are my three cool. deadly good Portman ones. three. Um, yeah. We don't. Um, we only overlap on Black Swan. So let's okay. uh, I'm gonna jump back into that. Yeah. Um, just a, a couple of things I have to say about that in addition to what you said. Um, yeah, it's a very physically and emotionally damaging, oh, yeah. you know, performance going yeah. on in there. Um, there's so much going on. This character is just beating herself up physically as much as she's being beaten up emotionally, yeah. Yeah. you know, and yeah. it's, um, it really is, it's, it, it's quite a performance and it had to be quite something to, to put herself through that. It's such a, it's such a tense performance. Mm -hmm. And, um, I just, just, you know, just to, you know, jump you on know, what it's, it's, it's scary too, to think that there are situations in the world and in people's lives that are like where you that. can be so young and dedicated that you just become obsessed yeah. with this one thing yeah that it may one be. thing that brings you so much joy but you yeah. you enjoy it so much that it it's your begins to break you. Yeah. yeah 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 so um so yeah that that would that that's one of mine um another i, I did not go on the padme amidala okay yeah road. um so another one for me would be when she was super young would be um the professional or Leon or Le the Perfect, however they're, were right, whatever yeah. they're calling it now. Yeah. But when she yeah. was um, when she was yes, really yeah. um, when she was young and learning how to kill people. So exactly. Um, yeah, I just I thought every, it was every kid needs a hobby. Yeah. What can I right. Say? Yeah. Seriously, keep them off the streets. You got to killing people. Um, but no, I, I just thought it was great. I think that she showed a lot of uh, a lot of range at such a young mm -hmm. age. We've talked about young actors, you know. Who are especially that, that seems to be young female actors who were put into these like really weird. You've got you know your Jodie Fosters, mm. and, you know, just doing things at a young age that they should not be portraying yeah, yeah. at a exactly. age. So, but um, but she really does show a, a lot of uh, a lot of depth there, and like toward the end when you know she's just like super panicked and she's she's just really great at showing like that fear and compassion but still being very strong strong will yeah. um yeah. such a, a great performance from such a young a young actor um speaking of v for vendetta um that would be my next one mm -hmm. i like that because she typically plays characters who are kind of in control i mean black swan notwithstanding um but this one she she had to sort of her character needed to sort of be, I don't want to say convinced to be a little bit stronger, but she had to, you know, she, she gets, you know, kidnapped sort of kind of, yeah, yeah. Um, but then for her to become this, you know, this, this, I don't know if you'd say a tool of the revolution or, um, yeah. but she becomes somewhat representative of it yeah, or, right. and yeah. she's a great, I mean, in the story, she's really just a reason for V to explain what he's doing and why he's doing. Yeah. Like, you know, it's just like, oh, thank you, exposition. Give yeah, me exactly. someone to talk to there about what I'm doing. I tell you um, what I'm thinking. But yeah. um, but I just I don't know. I just I just really liked her in that because she's learning things. We're learning things as she's learning things. Yes. And right. um, you sort of go along that journey with her. And I just kind of dug that. So when we, when she literally, when she came out of the bucket, um, believe it or not, given, you know, she's been in so much great stuff, you know, yeah. uh, but that was the first thing that came to my mind. It's just like, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, somewhere amongst all of the, um, the stuff that I packed away and sitting in storage somewhere when that movie came out, um, when I worked in a, in a movie theater, they you had in a movie theater. I did. Yeah. So they had like the the V masks. Yes. They were on like the sticks, and it was just like the cut the paper cut out. Oh, so right. I still I, I still have one of those. That's that's an old. That, there's a piece of movie memorabilia. Yeah. For but so that, um, well, that's got to be what about two thousand five? Yeah, something like that. So I'm I don't I don't throw that. a lot of crap away. Oh no, so, I I didn't mean it that part. So. But yeah, something like that. I didn't mean the hoarder issue you have. No, I <laughs> I meant that time goes by. It really quickly because that's the over yeah, fifteen it years. It really now. does. It's a long time. Yeah. So um. So yeah. Those are my um. Th 
That was my Natalie, my Natalie Portman. I also really like, because she does have almost sort of like a squeaky clean reputation. Oh, I the, think the I know SNL, what you're going to say, the SNL The thing. SNL video thing where um, she's yeah. just awful. It's, yeah, it's so the, great. Uh, um, video kind of. Yeah, yeah, I will try to remember to put a link to that down in the show notes. So uh, that's that's just really funny. I never saw that was a William Wallace. So it's just really funny. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, um, there was a question at the end. Yes. Um, all right. What I, would I, I have wanted to I guess be I asked there you the for? Point. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, it's so weird because, like, knowing like movies are shot so out of order oh, and yes. stuff like that. that yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I would probably like things that have really great kind of long tracks of, of dialogue. I think I would enjoy like something like Glenn Gary. Ross, mm. I would love to um, to see something like that being done. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of the, uh, I mean, if we go back a million years to uh, His Girl Friday, that would have been really, really fun yeah. to watch yeah, yeah, film. Yeah. When Harry Met Sally, again, mm -hmm. another great, you know, great stretches of, of dialogue like yeah. that because nothing gets me actually, more good giddy or any episode of the west wing i've just sort of finished watching like finishing up the series of the west wing so that is present of mine so but anything for me with with great stretches with, with, of, with like um, with a lot of with long dialogue and tracking and that sort of stuff I, you just made me think of um uh birdman yeah. At the beginning of that one, yeah. that, that, that that's long a big tracking long shot. Yeah, there. good long tracking shot in Goodfellas. Yes. Which would, I think that Go it would snake through the Yeah, the, at the, the end uh, of that shot, I would have been just like, damn. Um, I yeah. think the Robert De Niro, Al Pacino chat in the diner in, uh, heat. in heat yeah. would be great. I'd be just like, oh my God, this is I, amazing. I, I was thinking of the reason I asked the question, I was thinking of like, I, I would just love for a couple of reasons just to see them, just to see them do it. But uh, King Kong, the original, the 1933 movie, where like they'd be filming things and then try to move, you know, yeah. like the armature of the, yeah. of the thing, different size models, trying to work it, having the actors come in and out. But uh, the other thing, I, I've always loved that movie, but... The idea that they were actually using um, props and scenery from earlier movies, and then they were still when they were filming. Then later, when they were doing King Kong, they were actually filming the most dangerous game at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So they were using the same stuff. One's filmed at night, one's during the day, right. and they're filming. They're using the same stuff, and then later they end up using more stuff. Or when they're burning Tara down, and, uh, <laughs> gone with the wind, they they like burn the great gate, yeah. Which is and all this, and I just would have loved to have yeah. seen them like That's repurpose funny. stuff and yeah. looking around and just yeah. I don't know. That's I know cool. it's a silly no no no, no. It's a, but, it, but thing, it's a but good it's, one, yeah. like, You know, to be to sit down and you know, like yeah, be able to watch these some yeah, just watch this things. stuff. Yeah. Who's yeah. next? I that's like know. our next thing. That's that's what we do next. Let's see if you were there. Are you kidding? I can pull the name out of the pocket. All right. There you go. All right. Check the yeah. ticket stub. So I got to watch some movies. Man. <laughs> Shucks. I exactly. have to watch movies. Shucks. I have to put some to homework in. I know, right? I got to do some homework, teach. All right, everybody. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Uh, thanks for checking us out. So um, we'll see you next time. Take care.